Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of College Hockey Talk. On today's episode, I am welcome back a very special guest. Uh, she is currently a freshman on the Franklin Pierce women's hockey team, and she is a hockey legend in Roseau, Minnesota. Uh, Memphis Martins, welcome back to the podcast, and how's everything going? Thank you. Thanks for having me, and everything's going good. That's good to hear, and obviously your team just started off the second half of the season at the time of this recording, so... How would you evaluate your team's performance as of now, and how have things gone for yourself so far in your first year in college hockey? So far, my first year in college hockey has been really fun. It's been – I've met lifelong friends, and, yeah, it's been really good. And for the second half of the season so far, we started off a little little rough, but then um, we bounced back against St. Mike's, and I feel like we're going to keep going up from here. Yeah. What's been, like, the biggest adjustment you've had to make to your game – in college hockey has it been the speed has it been the physicality or has it just been the decision making since the game so much faster um for sure all three and the timing making sure you're in like the right spot at the right time that's been kind of difficult for me but no the yeah speed timing physicality yeah all of it is a huge adjustment and also how have you balanced like academics and hockey at such a high level? Because I feel like a lot of players don't really realize that sort of adjustment heading in from high school to college. How have you sort of adjusted that aspect of your life? Um, well, so actually at first, my first semester was a little rough for me because I was in health sciences and I should not have been in that major. I thought I'd test it out, see how it went, and I didn't really like it. So then I ended up switching my major and I really, you have to find something you really enjoy in order to be able to manage it. That's what I've learned. But no, yeah. nice. What would you switch your major to? Uh, business management and then a minor in education. Oh, nice, nice. Uh, what do you hope to do with that degree? I guess when you graduate. I don't know yet for sure. Maybe go back to my hometown and um, work for my uncle's business and see what happens from there. Nice, yeah. nice. Well. Talk about what it's like playing Newha for a little bit. Um, I'm curious about that because I feel like that's a conference that people, not a lot of people talk about, but I feel like it's sort of an underrated conference. Obviously, you guys have an automatic bid uh, to the national tournament this season. So uh, what's it the competition like in Newha? And just talk about what it's like playing in that conference on a weekend to weekend basis. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Newha isn't talked about very often. And I definitely think it should be talked about a lot more than it is because it's a very good league still and like we beat WCHA teams and we still beat um hockey east teams and like we're up there with all the other teams and I wish that was talked about more but no it's been fun it's been tough to adjust like I said earlier but no for sure it's it's a great league I like it I think a lot a lot more people should join it for sure Oh, for sure. And obviously when I was talking to someone who plays in the league and they told me that you're so competitive in those non-conference games because you're trying to prove something to those other conferences that when you have league games, it's just very intense. I'm curious if that's sort of an accurate description of what it's like from your perspective. Yeah, for sure. We definitely come in like people definitely think like we are the underdogs coming in when it's not always the case. Like, I don't know. It's hard to explain because yeah, we're people think we're the underdogs coming in, but that's not always the case. And we're always like bigger and stronger and faster than people think that we really are. And yeah, come out scaring them a little bit, I'd say. But yeah. And obviously, what's been some improvements you've made to your game uh, so far this year? I feel like everyone talks about adjustments that freshmen have to make to college hockey. But obviously, when you play college hockey, you improve your game a lot. Uh, so what do you think has been like the biggest improvement you've made to your game since the start of the season to now? Um, I would say speed, um, for sure. The game is a lot faster, so you have to make sure and keep up with everyone. And yeah, speed, physicality, getting a lot stronger because they're not, it's not high school where there's, it's eighth graders to seniors. It's all 18 to 22 or 23 year olds. Like you have to be strong out there for sure. Especially with the fifth year thing. Now it's some 24 year olds are out there this year until. Yeah. Yeah. How do you adjust the physicality a little bit? I'm curious about that because it seems like women's college hockey or just women's hockey in general has gotten a lot more physical since uh, when I started watching it a few years ago. So is that just like an accurate, um, I guess, like sort of analysis from my part from watching the game or is it like 
more like, and I guess not physical, more just like stronger board battles and sort of being quicker on pucks in that aspect of things rather than sort of like checking and all that. Yeah, for sure. It definitely starts in the weight room and then it definitely starts um, learning how to use your body correctly and like learning how to adjust that way. And yeah, definitely in the weight room. You have to, there's some girls out there that can bench and hang clean a lot and squat a lot. So you definitely have to keep working, if, especially if you're a smaller player. You have to learn how to lift a lot. But yeah. Yeah. Hopefully there hasn't been any moments yourself where you've like accidentally ran into a player or something like that. Cause I know that's happened a few times with some other fresh freshmen. Yeah. 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 I know. Now talk about your first ever college hockey game. It was at Boston college. Um, what was it like putting on that Jersey on for the first time? And even though your team didn't win that game, it must've been such an incredible experience uh, for yourself to finally have that college hockey experience. Cause you've been committed for so long. It feels like. Yeah, no, that was, that was amazing. Like walking into their rink and like seeing like, Oh my gosh, this is actually happening. Like I'm at BC going to be able to play my first collegiate game. And then, it was awesome, too, because all the other freshmen played, too. So we were all in the same boat. and Yeah, it felt really good. And putting on the jersey, like, it's like, oh, my, like, this is actually happening. I don't know. It just didn't feel real at first. But, yeah, when Coach came in, too, before the game to talk to us, it was like, I don't know. Everyone was so locked in into the game and ready to play. It just it was it was a cool feeling for sure. Yeah, and talk a little bit about your freshman class. Uh, you obviously have a lot of new players on the team this year. So what's it been like bonding with those players this year? And uh, how have you guys gotten to know each other, I guess, since the start of the first semester to now? Um, we all became really close right away because we're all from um, we're all from Minnesota, except for one is from Chicago. So we're, we're all like we all kind of are from the Midwest and we all just have a lot of similar interests and everything. So we all got along quickly and got to know each other and we all became close right away. Yeah. Do you ever give it, it to fun. the girl from Chicago since she's not from Minnie? <laughs> no, I probably should though. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I was talking to one of your teammates, uh, Mackenzie Rich, uh, this past fall, and she said that you two have become very close. Um, so talk a little bit about that relationship, because I, I remember us talking about some underrated players in Uha, and she said yourself, which I was like, oh, I had Memphis on the podcast uh, previously. So I'm curious how that relationship's been going since I last talked to her. No, it's been going good. Yeah, Kenzie and I, we have the same humor, so we kind of hit it off right away, and we pay, became close right away. And we're both very competitive, I feel like. So we also push each other a lot in practice and everything. And it just kind of, I don't know, it clicked. Same with um, Kylie Huseth and Avery Farrell. We be, all became like best friends right away. And Grace Chuck and Jill, I mean, all of them. But no, yeah, it's been it's been fun for sure. Yeah. Now your team got your first win this season over St. Thomas. Uh, what was it like getting that win, especially doing it um, at St. Thomas in your home state? That must have been pretty special. Yeah, that was probably my favorite game game so far this year because um a lots of our families were there because we have so many girls from minnesota and the midwest on our team so it was cool like being able to see all of our families there cheer for us and be there for us as and then we won and then it was just i don't know it was pretty cool and our first time beating a wcha team that was yeah that was a great game that was awesome I'm assuming your family had the chance to come see that game. Uh, was that the first game they ever saw you play in college hockey? And what was it like getting to share that moment with them? Yeah, that was their first game, um, getting to see me in person. They watched online a few times, but it's not the same, you know. But mm -hmm. they liked it a lot. That was, yeah, that was awesome being able to see them. And it was the first time I got to see my parents and siblings since August. So, it was, yeah, it's definitely a good time for sure. Now, another one I want to talk about from your team was when your team beat Holy Cross. Um, I'm curious, how important are those non-conference wins for your team to show that Nuha can compete with other conferences in the country, like the WCHA and Hockey East? Because it seems to me that this season has sort of proved that Nuha can do that, because I know some te ECAC teams have been beaten by Nuha teams. And obviously, you guys beat Hockey East and WCHA opponents as well. So I feel like it's just showing how much the conference has grown uh, since it first started out. Yeah, definitely. The games that aren't are are non-conference. Sorry, I started. Are definitely very important to show that we can do it and we can beat them. And it shows that we're not a league that 
needs to be looked down on and stuff. And it really shows that we're better than a lot of people think. And it's, yeah, it's definitely a great um, feeling too, after beating a non-conference team, knowing like we can do this, like we're, we're up there with everyone and it feels good. Yeah. I think it's pretty cool. Cause your team beat union, Holy cross and St. Thomas, you guys beat the ECAC WCHA and um, EC, our hockey East opponent all of this season, which I think is just showing the growth of not only your program, but uh, the conference as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Yes. What's been your favorite road rink to play in? I know there's some cool ones in Duha or some cool non-conference ones. Um, we'll talk about which ones sort of stood out to you for your time so far in college hockey. Um, definitely when we went to play Penn State, their rink was pretty sick. I think a lot of people would say that too. But I also like St. Thomas's rink because it had the home Minnesota feel. So, yeah, those two were my top for sure. Yeah, there's a reason why uh, Penn State's hosting another women's Frozen Four after they just hosted it last year. That looks like such a cool spot. Um, just the facilities there are, are amazing from what I've been told. Yeah, they are amazing. Yeah, it's cool. Now, what are your team's goals expect and expectations for the rest of this year? Obvious, obviously, it's to win a new hot championship and make it to the tournament. Um, but besides that, any other goals on your team's radar that fans might not be aware of? Um, definitely just taking it day by day and keep getting better day by day, just working a little bit extra harder in practice, like all the time, just keep grinding and keep doing everything we can to try and win that uh, new hot championship for sure. That's our first, first goal is definitely, yeah, to keep going every day. And yeah. So we're now in the segment I like to call the non-hockey segment, where I ask you some non-hockey questions just to get to know you a little bit more off the ice. Now, Memphis is a little bit of a different non-hockey segment than last time when we had you on, because I found some random questions kind of on the internet to sort of, that I found interesting. I assume you might find interesting and uh, just different questions, I guess, than the last time we had you on. So uh, first one is, what is the most interesting thing you've read or seen this week? Um, well, probably there was a little bit of like an explosion on our campus this um, weekend. We had a big snowstorm and a tree fell on a power line and it like created an explosion and we didn't have power for almost two days. So that was probably the most interesting thing I've seen in a while. But yeah, I'm assuming everyone's OK. No one was hurt from that. Yeah, no, no one was hurt. It was good. Yeah. That's that's that sucks though. Not having power for two days because um, I, I don't know how you get any work done because you just need the internet for most of your assignments now. Yeah, yeah, it kind of sucked, but also the teachers gave us snow days, so it's kind of nice having a little break too. It is, but like you're not doing anything fun because you have no power. So there's sort of like you still have to balance the two, I guess, a little bit. Yeah. True. <laughs> yeah. I guess for me, the most interesting sort of falls in the same thing as probably just the weather. Uh, we've been getting a lot of snowstorms recently. So just I'm always interested to see like what the conditions are like. And I feel like, in my opinion, that they've been sort of inaccurate. Like we we're supposed to get like some big snowstorm today and I haven't seen any flakes so far. So um, that sort of interests me as like how to predict the weather storm and what goes into that, because sometimes it's accurate and sometimes it's not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Now, what is the most spontaneous thing uh, you've ever done? Um, I don't know. Maybe um, cliff jumping into the water at my cabin. I don't know. We jump off like a lot of stuff. And yeah, probably that. That's pretty cool. How high is that jump? Um, one is 40 feet, I think. No. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I, I don't know if I could do that. So kudos <laughs> to you. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, I'm not very spontaneous uh, just because I'm very OCD and I like to plan things out. So probably just going to like a hockey game like last minute. That's probably super boring, but that's probably the most spontaneous <laughs> thing I've ever done. Now, what is your idea of a perfect day? Um, I don't know. I have a lot of ideas of a perfect day, but probably just going to the beach um, with my friends and my family and hanging out there for the day and then having a nice dinner. I don't know. <laughs> That's probably my idea of a perfect day. Yeah. Mine's probably again, very basic, but going to a hockey game and then like having like Italian food after, um, I think that's a pretty fun day. And yeah, just hanging out with friends and family, like you said, what's been the hardest class you've ever taken so far in college? Mm, either 
biology or statistics um stats was pretty hard for me i'm not a i'm not a math girl so probably yeah stats i'd say I'm with you on that one. I'm not a math guy myself. Quantitative reasoning uh, last year was one of the most toughest classes I've ever had, but luckily we managed to get through it and now I don't have to take math anymore. So I was pretty happy about that. Yeah, that's good. Now let's talk about some of your teammates. Uh, first of all, who's the funniest teammate you have at Franklin Pierce? Um, I'd say Lindsay Dumont. She's she's really funny. Which teammate has the best social media on Franklin Pierce? Um, that's a hard one. Best social media. Um, I'd say Michaela Kelly. Which teammate takes the longest to respond to your text messages or phone calls? Um, Avery Farrell. Yep. And finally, uh, who has the best style on the Franklin Pierce women's hockey team? I haven't seen any pregame outfits from your team yet so far, but I'm going to assume that you probably have the best style on the team. But besides yourself, <laughs> uh, who do you think has the best style? Thank you. It's not me. That's for sure. But it's Cassidy Jones. Yeah, she has good style for sure. Now, last, I guess two more non-hockey questions is what is one item on your bucket list? Um, Either skydiving or bungee jumping. I guess for me, I was watching Bruins Habs the other night, so probably go to Montreal and watch Bruins Canadians game. That would be pretty fun. That would be fun. That'd be a fun game. And then final non hockey question is: uh, if you could have like lunch with anyone in the world, uh, who would it be and why? But the twist to it has to be someone in hockey, not like just famous or whatever. It has to be someone in hockey. Yeah, like someone like a former player or like current player or someone like that. It can it be like in the NHL? Yeah, yeah. Um, I gotta go with Patty Kane. Yeah, that's a good answer. I guess for me, probably Wayne Gretzky because he probably has a lot of stories about his playing days, which I think would be pretty interesting to listen to. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's a good one too. Now, getting back to some hockey podcast questions, uh, what are your thoughts on the podcast uh, since we last had you on? Obviously, a lot has changed, so I'm curious to get your thoughts on that. Um, it's definitely grown, and I like to see that. Yeah, I like um the posts that um you've been posting a lot, and I like the, I like the style thing that you've been posting. Yeah, a lot, and yeah, it's it's grown a lot. I like it. Yeah, pregame outfits of the week is it's funny. It's like I work so hard to get a college hockey like platform going, and the most popular thing that we post is something that's off the ice, which I always find pretty funny. But that's always a lot of fun, and I gotta get your team to get it. I haven't seen any posts from your team this year, so. We got to give your team. We want to give your team a chance to sort of be representative because at the end of the season, a player will win best style of the year award, and we want your some of your teammates to be considered. Okay, perfect. I'll I'll make sure we get a few picks before the game. Awesome, awesome. Uh, now talk a little bit about the coaching staff at Franklin Pierce and what's been like playing for them. Uh, because I, I was sort of interested to see that there was a lot of Minnesota players on the team. So obviously they sort of have that connection recruiting you guys. So I'm curious what it's been like actually getting to play for the coaching staff uh, this season and not sort of talk to them like recruiting wise. Um, I really like the coaching staff. They're hard on us, but they're also like very uh, personal and they like, they know us all very well. And they like, like, I don't know. I appreciate them a lot. They help us out with everything and yeah, very good coaching staff for sure. Now, is there any guest that we should have on in the future, maybe a former teammate or current teammate or someone that you know that plays college hockey that isn't on Franklin Pierce? Uh, feel free to let us know. Um, I'd say Sophie Hugson. Nice. Yeah, definitely have her on. Well, obviously, last time we had you on, we, you did shout outs. So I guess if there's any shout outs you might have missed from that episode, feel free to do that. But if there's anything else you'd like to talk about, the floor is all yours. Uh, feel free to say anything. I'll be happy to hear what you have to say. Um, I really like what you're doing um, for this podcast, for girls hockey and everything and getting out there more. And yeah, I appreciate it a lot. And I know a lot of my teammates do too. And yeah, thank you for having me on. It was, it was fun. Well, thank you so much for coming on Memphis. I really appreciate your time. Uh, It really means a lot to have you back on the podcast. Uh, One of the reasons why I started this thing was to help grow teams that maybe might not get have enough coverage, um, especially in women's college hockey, but also the men's game as well. And I think you're an amazing player that deserves more recognition and it's been fun getting to know you the past years. And hopefully I'll get the chance to see you play in person at some point during your career, but you're also an even better person off the ice. And I wanted to let you know that. So I really appreciate 
uh, what you've done for the podcast means from means a lot to myself and I uh, just thank you for everything uh, that, that you've done. It really means a lot. So I uh, just want to let you know that, but uh, yeah, best of luck for the rest of the year and obviously best of luck for your future endeavors. Cause I know you're going to do great in whatever you decide to do. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, one more if you can do that whenever. Hi, my name is Memphis Mertens. I play for the women's ice hockey team at Franklin Pierce and welcome to college hockey talk. Awesome. Well, thank